All right, this is lesson 28 in learning the abacus. And the next six lessons are the ones where we're going to get into the real meat of the abacus. And I'll just give you a heads up on this, but it may stretch you just a little bit. You're going to have to pull in everything. Every lesson that you've learned so far is going to come into play in this next section. It's going to be, you're going to be using the complementary numbers with respect to 5 and the complementary numbers with respect to the number 10. So let's start off in the 1's column here. And let's just do a simple problem like 6 plus 7. So let's put the number 6 on our abacus here. Now as you look at this, 6 plus 7, your first instinct is, well, the complement to the number 6, we're, adi we're adding, so we're going to subtract the complement. Uh, the complement to the number 7 is 3. And so you know what you need to do is take away 3 from here. But what you see is we have a 5 involved here, and so we have to go back to some of the first lessons that we did and take 3 from 6 using the complement to the number 3 with respect to 5. And I know that might confuse things a little bit, and it'll be hard at first, probably. It'll be hard at first, but in the end, you'll get, you'll, you'll get it. All right. So the thought process is the we're going to subtract the complement of the number 7. So 3 is the complement to the number 7. But then we have to go a step further and say, well, we're involving a 5. So the complement to the number 3 is 2 when it's respect to 5. And so what we have to do, the process is we're going to take away 5, add 2, and then add 10. So that may have just totally put your brain in a knot or something like that, but let's do it again, okay? So we're doing 6 plus 7. The thought process is because this is how we do it, and just kind of get used to the sequence. Minus 5, plus 2, plus 10. 13, 6 plus 7 is 13. And remember, the reason that we do that is because we're actually subtracting the complement of 7, which is 3. So we have to take 3 from 6, but that involves this number 5 here. We have to reduce the number. And you know, you know that 6 minus 3 is 3, but we have to get used to the, 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 the abacus sequence. So the 5 goes away, and we add 2 to make this 3, and then there's a 1 over here. So get used to that sequence. 6 plus 7 is minus 5 plus 2 plus 10. All right. This will get easier as we go along, I promise. After you do about, I'm going to say around anywhere between 10 to 15, maybe 20 of these problems, you'll start to catch, catch on to, and it won't be quite as hard. So here we go. Let's just do 5 plus 6. 5 plus 6. Well, the complement to the number 6 is 4. Well... Here we go. Okay, so we have to subtract the complement. Well, 4, we can't take it away. Well, the complement of 4 with respect to 5 is 1. So we take away 5, add 1, add 10. There it is. Or add 1 in the next column here. 5 plus 6 is 11. I'll do that one more time. 5 plus 6. All right, I take away the 5. 4 the complement of 4 with respect to 5 is 1, so I add that, and then add 1 in the next column over. 5 plus 6 is 11. Let's try 7 plus 7. All right, here we go. The complement of the number 7 is 3. All right, here we go. Uh, 3 with respect to 5 is 2, so I'm going to take away 5, add 2, add 1. There it is. 7 plus 7 is 14. Let's do a couple more of these. I, I don't know of an easier way to explain this other than 
to just get used to doing this process. So here we go. The number six, and we're going to do six plus six. Well, the complement to the number six is four. And the complement of four with respect to five is one. So I'm going to take away that five and add one and then add one in the next column over. Six plus six is 12. All right, let's try another one. Five plus eight. Put five on our abacus. Now let's do five plus the number eight. All right, okay, well, eight. Uh, the complement of eight with respect to 10 is two. There's not enough beads, so I have to take that away. The complement of two with respect to five is three. And so I add that there and add one there. Five plus eight is 13. All right, let's do one more. Eight plus six. All right, we're out of beads, so we're going to, we're going to use complementary numbers. Eight plus six. The complement to the number six is four. So four, then the complement of four with respect to five is the number one. So I'm going to add one, subtract five, and add one in the next column over. Eight plus six is 14. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and just say that I'm guessing that, that this just totally wrapped your brain in a knot. You're thinking, I don't like the abacus anymore. This is too hard. This is dumb. Why not just use a calculator? Because this is, this is ridiculously difficult and hard. It's actually not. If you just learn this sequence, you'll get used to it. And it won't be that bad. And it's going to really make your brain start thinking in another way. It won't, you'll, get, you'll get it. I promise you'll get it. So, and there's really not, a, there's not an easy way to get used to this because it's a different way of thinking. So I'm not going to give much more explanation than what I've already given. And the best way that I think for you to learn this is to simply go and print off that worksheet and just work through the problems. Just keep doing, even do the same one over and over again until it starts to make sense in your brain. It will. You'll get there, I promise. You just have to work through it. I had a hard time with it when I was trying to figure this out. When I got to this point, I struggled. And I, what I had to do is just do it really slow, let my brain think through it, and just kind of get to the point where it just started to make sense. You'll get there, I promise. Even if you do the same problem over and over again, your brain will start to get used to it. So... Go work through those, and when you, we, when you feel like you've started to grasp and get a hold of what, what it is, then come back and do the next lesson, and you'll get more practice with it.